Welcome back to another quick tip. Animating your exploded views can lead to some pretty awe-inspiring visuals. With Keyshot, incredible animations like these are easy, so in this video we'll go over some tips and tricks that will help you create dynamic exploded view animations. What I have here are some bike parts, the crankset, pedals, and other various internal components. Models with lots of parts definitely lead to more intriguing exploded views. Before getting started, I recommend cleaning up your scene tree if needed, giving accurate names and grouping together relevant parts. And, as with any animation or video, it's also helpful to plan ahead and understand how you want this exploded view to look in the end. Opening the animation timeline, I've already set up some basic translation and rotation nodes by right-clicking on parts in the scene tree. If you need a more in-depth look at creating animations, click up here to watch our animation tutorial series. Okay, so let's get into some exploded view tips. Here I have the right side of these bike pedals exploding out, but I need to snap these components back to their starting positions. A quick way to do this, and we'll focus on just the pedal, is to right-click on the node and choose Mirror. Now a second node is created with the animation playing in reverse. You can go through and mirror your nodes or entire folders in order to snap parts back, but another method that offers even better control and simplifies your timeline is the custom ease curve. Let's take these screws for example. I've chosen the custom motion ease option from the dropdown and added a few keys, going from a value of 0 to 1 and then holding that position for a few seconds. To easily bring these parts back to their starting positions, right-click in the graph, add a key, and be sure to set its value to zero. The screw now returns nicely to its original location. With this method, you get even more control over your animation when these handles are turned on and dragged out a bit, creating really nice and smooth curves. To use this curve on other nodes, just simply copy and paste from within the graph. Here's that animation now with a custom ease curve on each node. And to make this even more dynamic, looking at those screws again, just slightly offset a few of those nodes. Now if we look at these crank arms and pedals, I want the left side to explode out just like the right side. So I'm going to simply copy and paste my animations from within the scene tree, with just a few adjustments to the translation. After using that copy and paste animation method, my animation is almost complete. That saves a lot of time and also ensures that all of your parts are exploding out in a similar manner. Turning on that orbiting camera and the animation is really coming together. You can preview a low-res version of your timeline at any point by clicking here. It's definitely nice to check this out before outputting that final high-res version. An animation is definitely the way to go if you need to create an exploded view. Not only do you get a great animation result, but you can also scrub through that timeline to pull out still images, turn on motion blur, and snap parts back without using the move tool and altering your actual model. Thanks for watching this Keyshot quick tip. Leave a comment below with your thoughts and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful content. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and share it with your friends.